Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse. We are, uh, yeah, we're kinda in deep doo-doo. Things aren't going too well, although, thinking about it again, I mean, things aren't going too well because, well, a lot of stuff hates us. And with stuff, I mean organizations. And, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, as it turns out, you know, in XCOM Apocalypse, being allied with someone doesn't actually gain you many benefits. Yes, some of the corporations do. For example, government is absolutely critical, because without them, you lose funding. Uh, Megapol, uh, for example... What are you doing, Tarangator? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Megapol provides the police forces and such, so if you're hostile to them, all the police will be attacking you, which is not exactly good, um, suffice to say. Uh, then you've got stuff like Sanctuary Clinic, which makes your people heal up faster, I believe. Uh, you've got Grav Ball, which will give you um, recruits with better stats. You've got the Mutant Alliance, which will give you more <clears throat> psionically gifted people, so and so on and so forth. And Trendstellar won't, you know, allow you to move stuff between bases, but, you know, that might sound like a lot. And, of course, we cannot buy stuff from Marsic now because we're um, <clears throat> hostile to them. But being allied with a lot of these, like Extropians, Synth Mesh, Life Tree, Sense of Vision, General Metro... I think, actually, General Metro makes some stuff. But, you know, it doesn't really give you any sort of defensive capabilities, like calling on them for defensive purposes and such. It, it kind of sucks. Um, so, yeah. I mean, but but then again, when I think about it, when I say, oh, things are not going so well, um, maybe that's not entirely true, because we are in almost late game now, and, uh, uh, oh yeah, you can have that, and uh, the thing is, uh, we are getting annihilators of our own, so we don't necessarily need rockets and such anymore, we do, because we don't have enough annihilators, but, you know, in the long run, I think we'll be fine. It's just not a very nice feeling being uh, being uh, hostile to so many. What was that now? Five? Seven? Personal shields? Was it seven? And of course, unfortunately, we've also lost one, uh, one person. Juani has given his life this late in the game, which was not entirely unexpected but it was slightly surprising i was i was not or should i i should really say the other way around it was it was not surprising but uh, it was not entirely expected because aliens are still pretty dangerous at this point with the vortex mines and everything as you can see um but yeah with all of the shields and everything we have, you don't quite expect to be losing people. You expect them to lose shields, and you expect them to lose uh, perhaps some health if it's critical, but not really to have them killed. So, yeah. So let's sell some of this. Actually, let's do the other UFOs, and then we'll do uh, the selling. We've also lost a fair few hover bikes, and I believe we've destroyed them all so yeah this is the problem now we don't really have any more rockets for them or missiles oh look at Illyrium oh, Illy oh right yeah, of course Illyrium has become available again and we cannot buy it because we're uh, hostile to soul mine <laughs> uh, uh, this is great Janitor missile, but Megapol makes janitor missiles, so that's good. And and Marsic makes profit missiles, so we cannot buy those. But at least we get some janitor missiles. That sucks. We've also got some uh, SD sports here. I don't know how many we need, but I'm just gonna buy five. Actually, no, because I kind of want to be careful with our money a little bit. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but so one. Oh, there's the Annihilator. Oh, no, wait. That's that one. We've already done. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, 
five. So yeah, I was right on point. <laughs> we need five of them. As the sports five of these babies. Oh, I should have already um, removed them from the. I should have already removed them from uh, the hover bikes. There's that one, that one, and that one. All right. So let's let's get those bikes kitted out with the best engines. And here is another heavy disruptor now. Excellent. That's excellent. So we can have another fully equipped annihilator. Now, to be completely honest, two annihilators fully equipped with disruptor beams uh, properly with a heavy disruptor beam as well are a force to be reckoned with. As you can see, as you could see our uh, destruction, uh, massive destruction of the city, you can, in fact, level a building with just one shot from the heavy disruptor beam. This thing is scary dangerous uh so sir buzzkill here is going to have yeah that's that's ridiculous that's ridiculous do we have any more shields no we don't uh yeah but he's got a ridiculous number of things um i'm actually thinking if i should remove the small disruption shield no i'll keep him for now yeah, but the firepower with this is ridiculous. So, you know, even if we were to run out of everything, we still have laser guns, which are, eh, pea shooters at this point. But, you know, there's something. Uh, they can take down shields. They can, uh, you know, uh, chip away at the health of the UFOs if we're lucky. Uh, but the two annihilators fully equipped, at least for the larger UFOs, they are just machines of destruction and once again i forgot to put the rest of the people on oh well i have to remember that for the next ufo <clears throat> mm. i do apologize um oh wow look at that this actually starts here that's a oh there we go okay i thought this was the end of the map i was like what the heck is going on here it would be kind of cool if they could actually go in here but of course uh -huh, just stop. I wonder if you could actually destroy these and uh, then make your way in there. Possibly. So, the entrance for the escorts, I believe, is on the other side. Over there, as per usual, I think. Actually, we could check that with this team that's here. That would probably be the be better idea, wouldn't it? Before I waste too many time units. Um. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So. Let's do it like this. And these guys are already on the way. These guys, I suppose, can just fly over the UFO. And make sure that we don't get any... Sneaky little uh, skeletoids trying to make their way around here. That's kind of scary if you think about it. Flying over a biological giant UFO like this. I don't know. It'll be slightly unnerving, I suppose. Please, please. Uh, I, want them to, I wanted them to uh, fly first, but I'm too lazy to click on each individual agent and then make them fly. Oh yeah, I'm going too far. And then the last team. Go, go, go. And we can make our way down here. <clears throat> All right. It's really snowing outside. Yep, there's the pooper. And I think that was the stomping of a... Mega... Is it overspawn? Mega spawn? I always forget which one is which, because one is the queen, one is the one is the big boys, and one is the really big boy that uh, likes to destroy the city. We haven't gotten that one yet. That one would actually, despite how stupid it sounds, that one would actually benefit us greatly. Uh, if the aliens were to deploy a... No, Mega Spawn is the big tank, right? Overspawn 
Okay, the queen spawn is the queen, and the over spawn, I believe, is the is the uh, big Godzilla dude. Uh, yeah, but if they were to deploy it, and it wouldn't be close to the city, I mean, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be close to us or our base, we would probably benefit from that because if we were to just leave it and you know have it have fun leave it to have fun uh what it would do is those things are pretty well badly implemented suffice to say they are dangerous yes because they destroy buildings and they can topple them and they can actually destroy your base so if they go for your base they are extraordinarily dangerous however most of the time they're very sort of random so they will go for you know whatever they won't really have a specific target and what will happen their attacks when they get to a building they start attacking it and i believe one swipe is enough to you know destroy that part of the building however when the building collapses it does extreme damage <laughs> to this thing that's attacking it which means that after he collapses a couple of buildings he dies because he's too stupid to realize that uh so basically oh, oh yeah so basically what happens is you can leave that thing to go on a rampage destroying things and uh of course because it destroys corporations properties they will get angry at aliens so in essence you don't have to go out and spend rockets and everything fighting that thing uh and you actually get better relations with um, with the corporations. Even those that would hate you, for example. So that's what I'm hoping for at this point. Oh, hello. Are you cloaked? No, this guy is cloaked behind you. Okay. How did you... Okay. No, come on. Just gotta get over here. Lovely jubbly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go here, I suppose. I just hope those guys don't have... No, no, stop. Stop. Stop moving. Stop. Stop. Oh! Come on. There you go. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to be right next to these missiles. Because I've... Sort of... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would probably do it. Oh, come on, where are you guys going? So where is this guy? Oh, he's right there. He's he's floating. That's interesting. Oh. So I'm failing to actually check if any of these have uh, brain suckers. I really need to do that. Because it's, it's not nice. Lovely. Now, let, let's actually check that. Okay, there's no brain suckers here. That's good. Now, <clears throat> one of the things you could do to prevent secondary explosions is actually pick these things up. But there's a lot of them. So, you know, it's slightly problematic to do so. So, let's get this guy first. Because he looks like he has something nasty. No, he... Oh, they... Did they all have entropy launchers? That would be great. Those things are pretty useless against us in turn-based in uh in uh real time they're scary they're very scary weapons but in real time meh i mean uh, in turn-based no oh come on are you oh is this being blocked or something there we go lovely let me just make sure okay yeah these are all with entropy launchers that's weird ah here we go yeah i knew that was gonna be a bloody brain sucker thingy there <sighs> i hate those things but right, we still have one there but i wanna i got these brain suckers first unfortunately there's so many i'm gonna drop one of these vortex mines pick this one up how much do you have left 13 enough to pick one more up but there's nowhere to put it so what I'm gonna do is get someone else. Ah, how did we miss that? Okay, that's yeah. 
That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Right. <laughs> Alright, get over here, guys. I need you. <laughs> okay. So, first order of business. Uh, we need to take care of this thing because it'll just. It'll just shoot a missile or something and make our day really bad. A bit more. There you go. Thank you. I really like the sounds of those things. Oh, 12. Jeez, just enough. And you're not actually in... <sighs> okay, fine. This is getting a little dice, you know. Okay. Go over there. Okay, wh where is that thing? There it is. Okay. Whew. So I'm hoping none of the others have brain suckers, because that would be really bad. Alright, let's have the next team that has... Okay, there we go. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, really, I, I do apologize. It's just... I don't know. Uh, I still remember when I didn't have this condition with my throat. Well, it's not a throat condition. I should rephrase that. It's uh, chronic rhinitis. Basically means that your sinuses are constantly inflamed. Uh... Which means that uh, if I don't take a corticosteroid spray all the time in the evenings, um, my sinuses pretty much get gunked up. Like like if you were had a cold, and it's constant, it'll be there, you know, pretty much twenty four seven. It's very unpleasant. Makes your stuff, uh, makes your nose stuffy. Uh, makes you, you know, speak nasally. Uh, it's just not fun. Unfortunately. As a side effect, well, not a side effect of the corticosteroids, if I didn't have those, then, yeah, I'd be, yeah, it wouldn't be fun. Um, but as a side effect of the inflammation, sorry, I'm giving you this information, this might not be to everyone's liking. Um, yeah, but as a side effect, uh, I'll leave it at this, just imagine that 24-7, and corticosteroid sprays don't seem to help with this. Uh, just imagine that 24-7, 365 days a year, you have just eaten something that's left, you know, like a little ball in your throat that you <clears throat> just cannot swallow. And, and it keeps making you want to swallow it. It's that feeling. 24-7, 365 days a year. It's... I won't lie. Sometimes it is, uh... It's quite depressing sometimes. And, uh, because it basically means that I have to keep clearing my throat, keep swallowing the, the, the gunk. <clears throat> or even if there isn't any, there's a feeling of it. it. It's just... And I've been to, you know... Uh... Otorinal laryngologists, is that the English word for it? Um, several times, that's, that's how I got antihistamines and... Oh, there's poopers, I forgot, where are they? They must be in those little rooms. And they didn't do anything, that's excellent. Um, yeah, and, you know, nothing helped. I mean, the corticosteroids did. Without those, I, I mean, I mean I'll, I'm a lot happier with them than without them. And once again, I really apologize, I didn't mean to uh, turn this into a medical sub story. <laughs> That was not the intention. I was- I just- I always feel really, really bad around people and on videos <clears throat> when I have to keep clearing my throat. I- I consider it extremely annoying to people and possibly rude and I don't know. It, it's just not something I enjoy. Oh, you're here. How are you still here? Wow. Look at them. Hello. Hello, boy. I don't want this guy to blow, because this would be... Yeah, there we go. This was a very good mission. Excellent mission, actually. This is how most of the missions I want to go. Um, Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, it's just... I don't want to think about it, because it gets depressing. Because it's literally... 
just imagine, like I said, eating some sticky... Yeah, imagine stick, uh, eating some Nutella. Like a big gob of Nutella that's very, very sticky, of course. And then imagine, you know, trying to swallow that down and imagine having that feeling 24-7, even at night. Now, I can sleep at night, most of the nights, but sometimes... Well, I've learned how to mitigate it. I've learned not to eat or drink uh, stuff past a certain time in uh, in the evening, like, I don't know, six in the evening. Um, I also stopped drinking tea because of that. Um, because it just exasperates things and it's, it's exacerbates, sorry. And it's not nice. And just imagine having that 24 seven. And sometimes at night, yep. I just, I just feel like I'm choking, so I have to get up and... <laughs> Never mind. Like I said, I apologize. I, I went on, off this... Onto this tangent now. Um, of ranting. I do like ranting, just not, you know... Top stories. And once again, I forgot the people that probably got healed already. <laughs> oh, that's another one of my many Achilles heels. Memory. And intelligence. And other things. I can't say I'm perfect, but I'm far from it. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get these people in here. <clears throat> There's another one of these. I kind of like these UFOs because they're not overly complicated with, you know, tiny little rooms and everything. Uh, yeah, fine. I'm going to have these guys fly first. There we go. So hopefully they, they have lots of stamina left once they get to the UFO. And uh, we'll be able to do fun stuff. I really kind of wish that the game would just give you. Uh, it would either let you play Steams where you want them. Or they would uh, place them a little bit more logically. Not just randomly. But you know, I want one, two, three, four, five, six. I want them to be lined up like that. Uh, so, should I get this team around? Um, yeah, fine. I'll have them fly over the UFO, just in case. Even though we are there at the entrance on the first turn, so I do believe that because all the aliens, I think, spawn in the UFO, you don't really have a chance of any <clears throat> skeletoids actually finding their right way out. Also because there's no actual holes in this UFO. But yeah, I've already said this before. Ooh. There's smoke. Okay, that's from the UFO. I wanted to say, oh, there might be a, a pooper in there somewhere, but no. Uh, that's that's. I've already said this, but I do kind of miss this from the previous two XCOM games. Wow, you you're quick out there, buddy. <clears throat> Come on, just hit him. You're all on snapshot. There you go. Thank you. There's probably another one. They usually run out in groups. Um, I do miss the UFO damage from the previous games. That was a pretty very nice touch. He's gonna explode if you guys don't shoot him. There you go. Lovely. Thank you. So, I, I do understand that these are biological grown UFOs, which I suppose you could say that they're, I don't know, maybe they, they're squishy instead of brittle. I don't know. Probably doesn't make sense, but there you go. That's what I'm thinking about these. That was very nice, by the way. Two poopers, so we don't have to worry about them because at this point poopers aren't really much of a problem with shields, but they are a problem because of secondary explosions. So you know, if you have uh, your agents ready to go for the next turn, and you're standing in a pile of vortex mines and stuff, you really don't want a pooper coming there and spoil and pooping on the party, because uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be very nice at all. <clears throat> Let's get you guys down here. Let's get the next team there as well. Oh, you're very high up. Go, go, go. Okay, who else? This last team. There's the poopers. Aw. They're so cute when they lie down. I don't know why. But they are just very cute. Uh, do you guys still have... Yeah, you still have some time units. You can go here. Actually, don't open the doors, though. Uh, you guys are gonna wait. You have a lot of time units, Fubar. Yeah, I feel bad about losing Huani, but... What 
can you do? We should be... Yeah, there you go. I hope there's not gonna be... Oh, brain suckers. Those both have brain suckers. Get them. Okay, that... That is going to spawn, but he'll have to go all the way around. Oh, I thought he was both brain... With brain suckers. Nice. Oh, there he goes. Did you see that little animation? That's really cool. Nice. There should be another one. Yeah, there it is. Oh, nice shot. But I would rather you get the uh, the brain sucker. Oh, please don't don't waste all. Excellent. Okay. Oh, jeez, they're out in force. I think this guy is actually higher than that one. Yeah. No. Are they? Oh, nice. Oh, that's gonna explode so bad. They're all in the same place. <laughs> Okay, I have to remember, do not stand down there. Nice shot! Okay, there's another pod over there, in the corner. That was excellent, in fact. Very, very good. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I, once again, I really do apologize. I, I always, I always want to make the Let's Plays fun. I don't want to, you know, rant about politics, that's a big no-no, even though sometimes I do get slightly carried away and, you know, like, oh no, I'm breaking my own rule, and I also don't want to make it like a sub story or something or whatever. Uh, I just hope you enjoy the Let's Play, the gameplay, that's the main thing, and I hope, I, if I can just make a few people's days better, that's the best thing to hear when I when I hear people say or read people's comments saying like you helped me through uh, the pandemic or you helped me through when I was sick or you helped me through when um, I don't know I was depressed that 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 really means the world to me that it just makes everything worth it everything so much better and and you know. <laughs> I feel all warm and fuzzy inside, but seriously, I hope you enjoy, and uh, I will see you in the next part of XCOM Apocalypse. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.